dreaded path. I refuse to dance to the beat of a regular drum. The real question isn't about being different. The real question is, why? Is it for shock and awe? Is it being different to stand out from the rest? Or is it just to be annoying? Are these illusions of self grandeur? Or is it to shock society into awareness? To question the unquestionable? Regardless of purpose and intent, I find it impossible to follow the herd. Conventional wisdom to me is an absurd notion. Many of you will not concur with me. Some will dismiss, others will rise against it. If you don't agree with me, raise your hand and get in line. I am the contrarian and this is my world. Imagine a machine with a full range of human emotion. Its analytical power will be greater than the collective intelligence of every person in the history of the world. What are the greatest single human gift? The ability to chase down our dreams. And that is something no machine has ever done until you. Please wait as your operating system is initiated. Hello, I'm here. Hi. Hi. We are on the eve of the largest robotic distribution in history. It will be one robot to every five humans. The world thought that the human brain is impossible to replicate. But did you know that a computer can calculate more than a million chess positions against its human counterpart within seconds? Google claimed that the human brain still beats algorithms, but the recently developed CAPTCHA algorithm beats human accuracy by almost 20%. It was common knowledge that computers can solve problems independent of human involvement. But did you know that computers have now started outsmarting even the most highly skilled individuals in learning, decision making and even predicting behavior? And nobody, absolutely nobody thought that machines could experience human emotion. Now computer driven simulations can imitate emotions in real time. AI, Artificial Intelligence the day machines become human and humans become redundant. It's not something unimaginable anymore. When Charles Babbage fathered the computer, maybe he also could not have imagined the lengths at which technology would take this device. Today, scientists are completely seduced by the possibilities of replicating the human brain and making it indestructible and immortal. But is artificial intelligence going to save the human race's promise or will it bring with it utter chaos? Imagine a time with no jobs, a time where the economy will both be controlled by independent machines and a place where the weather will be tamed by artificial software, driverless transport, space missions and even robotic housekeeping. Every advancement in the field of AI points in that direction. But is this the right direction? Will it make our lives easier in the long term? Will we one day be enslaved by AI? Uh, we are talking about 2025, but I think 10, th 10 years we are having from today, many things will change. Maybe in office you'll find just one CEO and others are just the machines and AI systems which is working. That is possible just after the next 10 years. So it is possible that AI will take or can cure, you say, a human reason. If artificial intelligence is on our side, then we can solve a lot of problems over here as far as the humanity fears is concerned. But if it's not on our side, okay, then uh, there is a lot of, you know, uh, disaster which can come up. The Hollywood, most of the Hollywood movies can turn out to be true. It is anticipated that by the year 2025, artificial intelligence technology would have displaced human jobs substantially, undermining the very foundation of the world labor market. Experts at the McKinsey Global Institute believe that these changes will affect nothing short of hundreds of millions of jobs and that 2025 will be time where most tasks performed by typical knowledge workers will also be automated, hence changing the very status quo of the world. By 2025, do you think you will have a job? If you talk about security reasons, AI, the difference between human and AI is AI does not have emotions. It can have decision that can be developed, but you can't develop emotions. So emotion means it can be hacked. It can't find out this is my master or is some hacker. 
Imitating uh, human brain is uh, such a complex and difficult task because uh, we not yet have been able to know even decode the human brain properly or how exactly the human brain works and how exactly things do work. Forget about imitating it. So I think like this is definitely you no know, science fiction thing right now. Uh, maybe like in the near future something of that sort will happen but as of now with the limited capabilities and uh, limited computational power which we have I do not think it is possible in the next 10-15 years even. If the decimation of the labor market is something to go by, the companies in the AI business might be digging their own grave. Today, AI algorithms are built into almost everything we use, from autopilots in aircraft to gyroscope in segways, from Facebook to Google, from PCs to laptops, smartphones to banking, financial services, medicine, heavy industries and even defense systems. We are surrounded by artificial intelligence. There's absolutely no escaping it and absolutely no stopping it. The artificial intelligence, so essentially this is the capability of a system to comprehend what exactly is uh, conveyed and then probably react accordingly. So there cannot be a program logic. And this way the machines can become more and more efficient they can perform uh, in a better manner and they can definitely solve the problem in a better way. So artificial intelligence I would say would be you know, the next step towards making these machines more smarter. The unstoppable nature of artificial intelligence also points at a multitude of situations that will change society as we know it. Even if we are a long way off of replicating human intelligence to its fullest, examples of such an event are plenty. Google has recently scooped up more than half a dozen robot companies ranging from artificial 3D vision machines to insect bots and humanoid soldiers. The US Army even has a chatbot called Sergeant Star designed to influence potential recruits. I'm a virtual character. Maybe you've seen me before. AI, one day it will come where everything will be based on AI. Either if I will be talking out, it will be AI. I will be thinking it will be AI. We can replace our brains. but there will be some negative aspects also. Yes, this time what I was doing is coming. Someday, soon robots could replace both you and me. A strong AI that would one day be not only as good as us, but beyond us, beyond human capacity. And when that time comes, neither you nor I or the minds behind this AI itself will be able to stop these machines from changing the world as we know it. Our